All right, we're here with uh, Thursday, and uh, in our warm up today, we're going to do shuttle runs. Uh, so, we'll do three minutes of shuttle runs. Um, just with whatever space you got, um, go ahead and go three minutes. Try to keep that nose breathing going. Just back and forth, touch it, touches on the ground are our key when you're this short. Um, and, uh, and keep those shuttles going. When you're done three minutes, you got a little bit of a heavy breathing going on. We're gonna get down on all fours, quadruped. Uh, we're gonna go quadruped hip cars. So the whole point of a hip car, controlled articular rotations. You're gonna rotate through the joints range of motion. Um, we don't wanna be like Piper over there taking a pee. I guess Piper's a girl. Uh, never mind. So we don't wanna be like a dog taking a pee on us. We wanna keep our hips square, okay? So. Um, that's key. Try to go into a bad uh, position where we're over rotating, kind of at the top. So like you with your hips, like lean your lean your pelvis. Maybe <laughs> I'll show you. <laughs> we don't want to be like this, okay? Because I'm not I'm not getting any more mobile. I want to keep those hips pinned down, abs tight and hit my actual limits, okay? So um, just, just through what you're gonna do on that one, uh, we're gonna go 60 seconds per side, just nice controlled rotations um, through, through that whole capsule, okay? Um, then we're getting to our specific. Uh, we are going two sets. We're gonna start with 20 hollow rocks. So that's gonna reach for the walls, nice and stable. Trying to make sure that at his hip crease, hip crease, there's no opening or closing. We're nice and rock solid. I might limit his movement a little bit, but that's okay. His body needs to be like the bottom of a rocking chair, keeping his abs nice and engaged. Awesome. So 20 reps there. After you've done 20 reps on your hollow rock, you're gonna go to five pause burpees, okay? We're gonna shake out those burpees from yesterday. Uh, we're gonna go down to the floor. We're gonna pop back up, we're gonna pause, one, two, and then we're gonna finish the rep and stand. Hips open up, get those, those hips moving. Not pause, just to get some dynamic hip mobility in there. All right, so five, five pause burpees, and then we're gonna to go to, uh, gonna get some hip flexion in with uh, 10 jumping um, toe taps. All right, so 10 jumping toe taps, just as high as you can. If you're not as, uh, crazy ninja-like as Besky, you can just do little little tiny ones, just reach them more for the toe. Can you show like a little little tiny one? Yeah. Show like a little tiny jump with that too. <laughs> just mess with them. Alright, um, so that's your warm-up today guys. Uh, have fun and uh, we'll see you for the workout. Alright guys, uh, here for Thursday's Metcon. Uh, so this one's a doozy, um, but we haven't mentioned this yet and I think at this point we're all Probably starting to go a little stir crazy, staying home, and uh, the stimulus for today is to address that, and it's just have fun. Have fun with this one. Go crazy or not. Um, just sweat. Get some good movement in. There's a lot of it for you built in today's, today's workout. Um, it's three rounds, uh, 30 reps of everything, and there are four movements. Yes. Okay. We are starting with a double dumbbell snatch. Okay. So have Bessie come in here. Show you three reps and uh, we'll, we'll go from there. So double dumbbell snatch. You can see that he keeps the same principles, business as usual with his regular snatch, even though um, the environment of his snatch has changed. Okay, kind of familiar with, with what's going on in the world today. Sorry, I had to throw the analogy in, but, um, but yeah, he's still focused on that hip extension, nice long arms in the bottom, and, uh, and really driving those hips and keeping those dumbbells as close to his body as he can. I want you guys to watch those uh, few points of performance here. So long arms, driving with the hips, turning the dumbbells over, more of a muscle snatch, but, but we're trying to use um, the, the principles and points of performance from a regular barbell snatch as much as we can. Okay, so after we do 30 double dumbbell snatch, we're going to hit the floor for 30 V-ups. 30 V-ups. What we want in the V-up is we want snap speed and control. Snap speed and control. Alright, no dogs were harmed in the making of this video. 
Snap, speed, control. You know you're controlled if you can tap your hands and your feet on the floor at the same time. It's an outstanding drill for foundational gymnastics movements, uh, no matter what level of athlete you are. All right, next movement, uh, we go back to the dumbbells. We go 30 again, uh, double dumbbell, shoulder to overhead. Um, that's gonna get those elbows lined up underneath his, his, uh, his fists, so bringing those elbows down a little bit, good. All right, that's a little bit different than a barbell. Bessie's used to slaying barbells, so he's used to those elbows up. Right now, uh, we want that kind of a bit more straight than we normally have it, so with the elbows directly under, under the fists. All right, and then we're still using those same points of performance, using the legs, dip drive overhead, elbows to ears. All right, one thing about the dumbbells is the instability overhead, and to gain that stability, we really want to think about at the top, extending the elbows through to the ears, okay? Then the last movement, we're gonna go 30 slam balls, okay? So best thing to pick up the med ball that we have today. This, uh, we'll get him to do three nice, good, powerful reps. All right, cool. So if you have a lighter ball, all right, um, then you're going to want to slam it a little harder. This is going to be tough when you're fatigued, but we're going to want to see that ball kind of float up towards the knees. If you do have a heavier ball, then, uh, then no, we don't want it to bounce up that far, but we still want a little bit of a bounce off the floor. In order to produce that amount of force and uh, keep yourself accountable to producing that force through fatigue, we want to see a massive hip flexion. Okay, we're used to hip extension um, and put, producing our power through hip extension, um, but this movement allows us to flip the script and go hip flexion. But in order to get to that massive hip flexion, we have to reach extension. A lot, big mouthful of words there. Best is just gonna show you the visual. Okay, so he's gonna get up to hip extension as extended as possible, and this extension is gonna allow him to produce a massive amount of force through a massive hip flexion. All right, cool. So the slam ball, all about producing that, uh, that opposing force. Um, it's no different than any other movement. Okay, guys, so three rounds, 30 reps on all four of those movements. Have fun with this one, and, uh, and you know, just get a sweat on.